Good morning, Dean, one of our yearly trading bandits. And what we're going to talk about is how to apply moving averages versus the public, how they view the moving averages and why the Turbo Trader, Turbo Trading Options Trading.com, works with the following. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the 10 day simple moving average which is a minute period moving average. So I'm going to get my calculator out. And when we take 2390, we're taking the common denominator value of the 10 day. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and calculate the 100, the 100 minute period moving average, which is on the 60 minute, 100 minute period. And we're going to go here, and we're going to go minus, and we're going to put in the numeral value of 2391, 2391, 2391, and it's going to be 0 0.25 equals minus 0.31. Pause. You can clearly see the common denominator value as 0.31 between the 10 day and the 20 as far as minute period moving averages. Now, what we need to emphasize is, is that 0.31 as it goes higher, let's say it went up to 0.51. Well, between the minute period, 10 minute and the 100 minute period, as it gets wider in the common denominator, that means that the actual movement on the 60 minute, when it does go up, it's going to be weak at support and it's going to roll over. Now, we're going to do another setup in here. What we're going to do now is we're going to take that same common denominator, which is the um, 10 day simple moving minute period moving average on the 60, and we're going to go from the 10 to that 50 line. And that's the 50 minute uh, value on a 60 minute chart. What's our minute period moving averages? And we're going to do the following. What we've done now is take that 10 minute period moving average on a 60 minute, and we have the common denominator 2391.14. Now, that white line up here that everybody sees is a 50 minute period moving average. And we're going to take that 50 uh, minute period moving average and we're going to hit minus and it's going to be 23, 94, 0.64, equals our common denominator is 3.51 minus when that 10 minute and I'll show it over here clearly. When that 10 minute on the 60 minute was going down in value, as you see where my pointer went, mm -hmm. that meant that that 10 minute crossed over the 50, it's below the 20, it's below the 40 minute, and that's why we came down on the S&P. So basically we had a little bit of pop over here. However, that is one of the most common denominators. The secondary common denominator is going to be the 20 minute versus the 50 minute. And you can see where the 20 minute started to decline below that 50. Now, here's the deal. The bigger the number, the weaker the trend or the weaker the movement will be when it does go up to resistance and then they roll over. And here is the following. So one of the things that we have done again is taking the um, moving averages and we're going to calculate the following. It correct the number, the 10 minute period moving average, which is a blue line, 2391.14. And we're going to subtract it. The white line is a 50 minute period moving average. So we're going to go minus and we're going to make sure that 2394, 2394, Point, point six four. Point six four equals three point five. Now, once again, we're taking the common denominator of the ten minute period on a sixty minute, and we've took it and we've took that value up there 
of the 50 minute period and the difference between the crossover there which used in the 20 now and the 50 is minus 3.5 the bigger the common denominator on any time frame um, the weaker that resistance will be when it does go up this number here would have to contract between that 20 and that 50 and the reason why we're using that is because when the 20 and the 50 crossed over here you can see how weak the bottom was yeah it did have support we kind of went up and down on the 60 minute and you came down you hit it it pops but it doesn't matter what matters right now is that common denominator if it goes bigger than 3.5 then it's going to be much weaker on the 60 minute time frames at resistance and it also means that the support levels are going to be very weak period I'm going to conclude the minute period moving averages and how to calculate them and they all will be the same on every time frame.